Hi, good afternoon. I'm going to talk about my injury today. I've got a small plaster on it now because I'm going in the shower after I film this video because I thought, you know what, I'm going to film a video first. And where's a mess, but I'm going to be okay because I've got to go in the shower. But I decided to film a video, so the camera is in my new room now. This is my new room. I ain't got my bed yet, I'm still sleeping on the floor. But I'm probably echoing as well, so. I'll pull the curtains as we call. Oh, there's a curtain. Can't remind me how well. But anyway, my camera is stood on the windowsill and I could see in the garden. So people are going to look at me because I live by a park. So, okay, let's just get down to this. Right. Long story short, by the way, this is just going to be a quick video because why the hell do I need to upload, don't I? No. And it's something it's stupid. So. Right, yesterday, so today's Saturday, Friday, yesterday, obviously, if you're smart, you'll know, yeah. And my mum, <coughs> my mum, my mum went shopping, and my dad was at work, and my little brother was at school because obviously I've left, well, not left, but like study leave still. And I decided to do myself some toast, so put the toast in the toaster, got it out, buttered it, yeah, fine, completely, yeah, turned the Put the toast back, everything all like that, yeah. Once I buttered it, I thought, oh, I'm going to be creative with my toast today. I'm going to do something different. So, I decided to get the bread knife and use it to just cook normal bread. When I told my mummy, she was like, oh, well, was she trying to cook crusty bread or something? I was like, no, I'm just a loaf. And she was like, well, why didn't you just use the butter knife to just cut it? So, uh, uh. But anyway, I used the bread knife. And as I cut the bread, cut the... Oh, I can't even speak. Right, so I cut the bread, and as I cut the bread, there's a calendar on the wall in my kitchen, and it fell down. So there's me cutting the bread to set the scene. Right, I'd, I'd get a piece of bread, but you know, right. So I got a piece of bread here. Got a bread knife, and I was well. The bread's not right. Okay, right. We've got bread here. The knife is here. So I was holding the toast, obviously, because you have to hold it, otherwise it'll go everywhere, you could cut with one hand like this kind of, so, right, I don't know, yeah. anyway, there was me, so, I was holding the toast, and I had the knife, and then, this calendar fell off the wall, so, as I, I was home alone as well, so, I am, well, yeah, I am now as well, so, but, I held the toast, the calendar fell off the wall, and as the calendar fell off the wall, I went, ah, boom, across my arm, oh, across my arm, yeah, that's my arm, across my hand, and it really hurt and as soon as that happened I found my friend and I was like okay then I don't feel well I think I'm going to pass out oh my god I don't like the sight of blood really it's disgusting I'm like, no I don't think I like it so I thought well I found Caitlin I found Caitlin straight away not my mum you know not my mum not my dad no one Caitlin so I found her she was like well help. get yourself some water put it under the tap sit down make sure you stay sit down keep it elevated don't let it bleed I was like she's like is it deep it's really deep and she was like okay right don't pass out no so i was like yeah yeah so i thought yeah okay i'm all right now yeah i'll love you and leave you so i hung up next thing you know it's still bleeding so this was i don't know a good half an hour later it's still bleeding so i thought oh my god this is deep it needs stitches so i just carried on with life you know watched the telly stuff like that still i ate my toast in the end as well i ate that toast I'll explain it, I'll cut the toast in a minute. That, that's bizarre. But anyway, so, I've got straps and falling down. Okay, so anyway, after that I decided to find my mum because after half an hour it was still bleeding. So I was like, Mum, can you get me some butterfly clips, things, sterile strips? Because my hand is still bleeding and I need to close it because I'll get infected and I don't want to get like my whole arm amputated if it's all infected. She was like, yeah, I'll get some. She comes home, show me your hand's still bleeding. So this this must have been at least an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes my hand was bleeding for. So that made me instantly think, oh, I need stitches. So I was like, oh my God, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. So she took me to the doctors because she hadn't got no sterile slips. Slip, 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 sterile, sterile, sterile strips sterile strips so i'll show you if you don't know what i am but ah right so i'll put that there anyway my hair keeps on coming out it's going on anyway 
So we went round to the doctors and I was like, yeah, you, you could very well need stitches, but I was like, no, 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 no stitches for me, I don't like needles. And they have to inject the cut, inject around the cut both sides. So say the cut, my cut is that way, I can need one in the cut, that side and that side of the cut. And I don't do needles at all, I don't do well with them. So I was like, no, sterile strips you've got to need. And they was like, yeah, yeah, we've got some. And then you need a big plaster to go over it because they'll catch. And so the strips in my, uh, my cut, it, well, what was I on about? The strips, the strips, the strips. <laughs> the strips will like close this together. It has closed together. Yesterday it wouldn't close. Like me and my mum was trying and trying and trying and she was like, that needs stitches, that does. You need to just go and do it. And I was like, no, 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 I don't like them. I don't want to go with you. So we eventually got some of these on. You can't even see it in the camera. Oh, I'll, I'll come closer. So we put them on. It was fine all day. My dad got back. I cleaned it in Dettol. Dettol? Dettol? Oh, Dettol. <laughs> anyway, so... Cleaned it so it's no effect. Well, no effect if we say they're so green. But I've got the strips on now. It's so sore, but I'll live right. I'm gonna try and show you in the camera. Oh, you can't see it, can you? No. What about if I go that way? You can vaguely see it, but basically, let me explain. It's like, it's like a, like that with a cut in the middle basically and them two things need bringing in they're sort of going in together but pus and water stuff keeps on coming out here and it's really weird so the stitches let's call them stitches they're not staying in because of the, the liquid coming out so i don't know what i'm gonna do what about if i don't heal what about if my hand stays open for the rest of my life what about if i get infected what about if i lose my own arm let's take a moment to think about jess with no arm do I don't know what to do but it's deep it wouldn't stop bleeding it's sort of going together and stuff's coming out of it I've got stitches on it to keep it together um a big plaster I've just took it off I'm going in the shower so I'll put that back on in a minute if it'll go back on but if not I'm stuffy I need a shower so I'll put that on the plaster on and then see what happens so my arm next time I see you I might not have an arm I might just have one arm so I'll be like Ooh. imagine if that actually happened could you imagine if you had one arm oh my god all oh, the lighting's good on that mate oh, this is my new room by the way if I haven't even said anything I'd show you but you probably won't want to see it because my room's a mess already you know when you just moved back in <laughs> no <laughs> sicky bed anyway I haven't got my new bed yet new bed I haven't got new bed I haven't got my new bed yet so it's not really finished, but all I need is the bed, and I see I'm done. But that comes on Thursday, so I'm going to try and film my room tour because I think it's sexy. It's like sexy, I like me. Basically, I've got white walls, this coloured wardrobe, which is the same as before, and that chest of drawers with a stereo there, and then a speaker up there. That's just rubbish there. <laughs> But anyway, I've got these curtains. They're London Underground, or they're supposed to be London Underground. Uh, my carpet is like a biscuit colour. So, yeah, I'm telling you too much. You need to watch out for the uh, room tour. That should be coming next week, so Saturday. So, today's Saturday, so next Saturday. So, I'm going to start uploading every Saturday. So, you need to look out for my booty. Okay, okay. Thanks, mate. Mm. So, I'm going to start Right, just look out for a room tour video for next week. I'm going to start uploading on Saturday. Comment down below if you think there's anything I can do to help my hand heal. Because I'm not no doctor and I don't want to go to the doctor. Because if anyone says I need stitches, I'll, I'll cry because it's an, it involves needles. And I'll, let's not go there. Okay, so give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Comment down below if you know anything about my hand, what can I, what I can do. So I will see you next week.